We are in Auburn. I am at Flying Mule Farm with Dan Macon, a sheep rancher. And sheep are actually good for a variety of different reasons. And Dan, why don't you tell us what it's like to be a sheep rancher in the Sacramento Valley? Well, it's, uh, it's like no job I've ever done. It's something I love to do. And um, it does get you outside in all kinds of weather and, and all kinds of, of uh, conditions. But uh, we use sheep in this type of setting um, to harvest our crop. This land by definition really doesn't grow any cultivated crops, but it grows outstanding grass. And we use these four-legged woolly harvesters to harvest our crop. Um, sheep, our sheep produce a number of different things. We produce wool, uh -huh. which we market in the springtime. We'll shear these in about six weeks. We produce lambs every year, and those lambs are marketed um, through Superior Farms in Dixon. And then we also do work like you're seeing the sheep do right here. We um, come into neighborhoods that want to manage their fuel load or manage their grass, and we take care of those problems for them. We eat the weeds down, uh, we restore habitat with these grazing animals. Going into the fifth year of a drought, the drought has impacted your business. It has in, in many ways. Um, going into the drought, we had about 300 ewes that we managed here around Auburn. And because of the dry of the last four years and the lack of grass growth, we've cut that down to about 70 ewes. So wow, that's a big number. I mean, that's a, a big reduction. It is, it is. And, and really, our, one of our fundamental jobs is to match the demand that our sheep have for grass with the supply of grass that Mother Nature gives us. And because there was less grass in the last four years, we, we cut the demand back by selling sheep. Is there anything you did irrigation wise or in your usage of water that during the drought that um, maybe was unique or ha helped you preserve water? There are, there are a couple of things that we've done. Um, during this time of year, we really typically don't irrigate. Um, we rely on, on nature to irrigate for us. But because of the lack of water, we did haul water for the sheep to drink during the drought, um, which for this time of year is very unusual. In the summertime, we do operate on irrigated pasture here in Auburn. And this last year, we were able to secure some cost share funding to upgrade our irrigation system. So it, able, it enabled us to, to spread our water over more acreage and be more efficient with how we use water, um, which I think is a, an important thing for all of us during a drought. 